Guys, welcome back to Everyday South Texan. Here we are in the garage here on the workbench. It's a little bit cluttered. I got something in the uh, mail today that I'm going to be putting on. It's going to workbench casters. So, they look like this here. When you step on the pedal, it pushes the wheel down so you can move your workbench around and then you kick it up so that way you. Uh, have all four legs on the ground so we're going to be installing these and then uh, seeing how they turn out the box came in pretty beat up uh, hang on the box came in pretty beat up with a big piece of steel in there. I don't know if this thing was uh, a return or what, but it doesn't show up on the uh, material list. I'm not really sure what it's for. There's only one, and it's about a quarter inch thick. Uh, the with a couple threaded holes on it, so I'm not sure what the heck it's in there for. We got the casters. They don't look like they've been used, so. Got four of them. Got four of these casters. And then all the hardware with the instructions on how to put it together. So stick around and uh, we're going to put this thing together. Hang on. Alright guys, so this is what the uh, wheel will look like once it's assembled. Got all these parts here. This will get bolted to the leg of the uh, table. And then uh, you assemble all the parts. So, I'm going to read the instructions. It looks like you can assemble everything beforehand. Uh, maybe not put the wheel on and this piece. But you can assemble everything else and get it mocked up, and then uh, and then you can assemble everything uh, once it's on there. So, hang on. All right, guys. So this is basically what it looks like, and I think it matter. I think it was used, or they uh, had some really bad quality control. So the only reason I got gloves on is it's about 50 degrees outside, and the garage is open. Got a couple of 10 millimeters. They give you a couple of these little multi ratchet tool wrench tool deals, but a couple of ten millimeters to get everything tightened up. So I'm not going to tighten it all the way down so I've got everything in place and they are nylock nuts so they're not going to back out again. So that's basically it right there guys. It sits there like that and this pivots and then when you lock this down it locks that wheel in place and then when you lift it up it lets that wheel lift up off the ground that's why this pivots so everything's loose right now I'm gonna assemble everything else and then we'll uh, snug everything up
All right, guys, so I've got all the wheels assembled. They give you a little template here that you put against your uh, leg. And, uh, you know, you got your inch and five eight or inch and a half from the floor to where the bracket will be. So what's an inch and a half wide? A two by four. So two by four is an inch and a half wide. So I'm going to set this on the bottom of the floor. Or you could just set this and poke holes and then drill, drill with your pilot hole or mark with your pen. I'll probably just use this. But if you wanted to, you could stick a 2 by, a two by 4 underneath it, mark your holes, and rock and roll. But I'm going to go ahead and use the template they provided. So check it out. All right, so there it is. I put a piece of duct tape to hold it there. Line it up center of the leg of your table. And drive your pilot holes in. There's all four holes with the pilot 16 pilot bit. I'm gonna bump it up to a little bit larger pilot bit because the screws that comes with it. I don't want to split the wood, and I don't want to have to worry about driving them in. So I'm gonna finish putting the template on all of them and uh, drill in the pilot holes and then we'll get to uh, installing them hang in there get out I've got this side done I'm going to show y'all easy so now it's up and it can move I haven't done the other side yet so that's why it's like not going nowhere so one thing about this, the hardware provided, one of the one of the heads of the screws uh, sheared off. I didn't even put any torque behind it. I was just snugging it up, and it just sheared off. So if you've got some better hardware, you can put that on there. Now you go one side, and then the next. everything goes down I'm not gonna be moving my tape my workbench around a whole lot so I'm not too concerned about that um, but I'm gonna get the other side done and then I'll show you all how much uh, they can move now I do have a bunch of lumber underneath my workbench you can see here so I don't move it a lot but when I want to bring my uh, truck into the garage or something like that I want to be able to move it easily uh, one person now these do say that they can lift up to 400 pounds. I don't know if they really can, but uh, that's what they're rated for. So uh, stick around and we'll get the other side done. Hey guys, I've got all four wheels installed. Let's check it out now. Oy. Knock the shit all over the place. There it is guys, able to move the workbench and it's fully loaded. Two chainsaws, toolbox, parts tray, all my crap. That's a 454 Rancher uh, 192 uh, TC I believe on them electric uh, blower. So it's got some weight, it's not super heavy but uh, is a full sheet of uh, 5 8 plywood, uh, half for the top, half for the bottom, and then four 4x4 four four legs, and it's all 2x4 construction, so it's not the lightest, probably not the best, I know it's not the best workbench out there, but I made it out of a whole bunch of scraps that I had, other than the top, the top I went and bought, um, so yeah guys, it's been a quick 
install of these uh, workbench wheels. I'll leave a, a link in the description below. Uh, they're all right. Uh, if you've got better hardware, if I had a, went to Ace and bought better pan head screws, it would be better. Uh, on this one over here, this one right here, the two in the center, or center and then the far left, I ended up rounding out the heads, just sinking them all the way down because I guess I didn't pre-drill far enough or there was a, a little bit of a, a, maybe a knot or something. So the wood was a little harder. Uh, I've also got my grinder, my, uh, yeah, my grinder there. So it's not the lightest of tables, but it, it's holding it. I can move it around with one hand and they are 360 swivel casters. So obviously I've got all that wood underneath, so I can't, can't move it right now but uh if i wanted to i i'd have to pull that wood out and then i could move it wherever i needed to in the garage or out and or whatever it is wherever i need to put it i can put it so yeah guys it's been everyday south texan and uh later